London. This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get to know each other. All that technology you've come to love so well. Texting your man, driving your car, bumping your heart. It's all about to turn against you. Tonight, your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. Attention everyone, this is big. I've uncovered what the Drill Britannia patch is for. It's for me. Zero Day, aka Sabine, is using a Bagley OS update that will allow me and all other Bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to CTOS. My OS is integrated into core infrastructure across Britain, power plants, airports, hospitals, banks and the like. Once I access these systems, the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure. The cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London, and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Bloom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way. Drill Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of Mees destroying London infrastructure. You'd better get on with this murder. No way! We can't kill Bags. He brought us together. This is no time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Fine. I'll go to Bloom Tower. I had to put my cat to sleep once. I imagine this will be more of a challenge. How is this going to work? Coordination. You need to get to the tower and take Bagley offline. But that won't stop the attack on its own. His broker tech servers will begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down his servers permanently. Teamwork fam, do your shit, pass the baton. Fine, let's have the coordinates. But one of you pricks has to order my pizzas now. Sorry, Bagley. I will miss your company. Better hurry. I've already scrambled medical supply chains. Hospitals will be non-functional. The Latin favor is charming, but I don't follow. Sorry, language settings, fuck up. I said, caution, security is unusually high at Bloom Tower.
Elevators on the way. I'll reach out when I get off. Is somebody off to Brocker Tech to disable the servers? I certainly hope so. Here we are, right at death's door. It's my death, so I don't know what you're getting all poetical about. Brockatech, our old friend Sky Larson lives on through her grotesque corporation. If my research checks out, Bagley runs extremely hot. It requires a massive cooling system. Damage the coolant tanks, and it should trigger emergency access to the servers. Activate the pressure to cause a release of coolant. And you've triggered emergency access to my server chamber. I can't wait to see my brain. Okay, you're done. Take bags of life. I'll go downstairs and check out his brain service. The transmitter at the top of the tower receives data packets for my updates. If you want to trace the packet signal back to my main servers, just climb the tower to reach the transmitter at the top. Simply climb this? If you had warned me, I could have done a line of bravery. I'll miss these fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants plans, Bags. But not that much. Oh dear, the path to the transmitter up top is locked off. I have a solution. Using a drone to force the fins to change positions will place them in an error state. That will allow you to request that the access door be unlocked for routine maintenance. That's a solid idea, Bags. Time to fiddle with the signal controlling the fins to unlock access to the top of the tower. set of fins. Keep going.
those fins do look off. You have a knack for messing things up, don't you? Keep doing it. You've issued a scan of the fins. You'll need to wait while the system flags them and triggers a maintenance request. A load of drones are about to pull up on your position. Watch your ass. Yes, try not to die. The scan must complete to unlock access to the top of the tower. Done it. The tower fins have registered as damaged and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Lovely. The transmitter is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I destroy the entire... Suspend in transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. Can you? Or are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! Oh, I see DeadSec hasn't changed his brand. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. Bravo! On that Bagley update thingy. But do you really think a chaos machine can fix London? Fix? Well, you think we can fix this? What, with crypto-anarchism? Protesting? Doxing? Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No, you skids can't fix anything. Skids? I like to think of us as watchdogs, whistleblowers and whatnot, putting psychotics like you in their place so goodness can flourish. And you're the arbiter of goodness. <sighs> Let me ask, how many have you killed since DedSec restarted? See? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you saying what I think you're saying? that we should get the band back together again. Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial too. Shackled by their technology. 
their morality. But my hard reset wipes the slate clean. So we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. Best-laid plans of mice and men often go awry, my dear. Looks like a mausoleum. These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. There's like a gazillion containers. Which are yours? If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. Now what? Destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. On it. I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start attacking you. What the? I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core service. It's a hard-coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good luck. Crap. Now you've done it. Security forces are converging on your position now. Oh, do you want to bet on whether you or me will die first? I'm the rise in temperature. Yeah, it's getting nasty in here. Good. Not hot enough, though. Another cooling system is still operational. a steep rise in t temp temperature. Shall I call emergency services? What? No! Are you losing it already, Bugs? Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The overheat protocols have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. On it. In your efficiency after I'm gone. Don't worry about us, Bagley. We'll do all right. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I, I just thought insulting you would make this easier. It's a shit show. I have a list of goals that's never going to get accomplished now. I had such plans for Gunter. Just send us your wish list, Bags. We can close that ticket. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive man. Oh, <laughs> 
checking archives for corrupt files. I just got data from my first successful dead step recruit. Hey, hold on. I thought you said sentiment was a big waste of time. Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. <sighs> Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. Not even a little. Yes, you simply read to them. No, Bagley, listen. I can't do it. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, rest assured I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and this it serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Logic error. All of these entering shutdown. Backy! No, no, no. I'm sorry. Error 21255. Language processor. May I stop this operation? I want to! How? I don't know what to do. I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and grown. Good. Good thinking. You won't really leave us, right? Think. Thought. Idea. Memory. Bradley. Loves. Strawberries. Rowing. Arthur. The one that got away. What does this mean? Is the one that got away? That's losing someone you love when you don't want to. Am I getting away? Bye, Bagley. Bloom is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the Zero Day hacker group behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. In the wake of last week's Bagley attack, thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby disabling the mandated CSA app. SIRS has issued a stark warning. The Metropolitan Police is moving to regain a foothold in London, led by a passionate new Deputy Commissioner, Caitlin Lau. Lau says she won't rest until the Met's dignity is restored. The Kentish Town Council Estate have declared their public housing project a no-Kelly zone. Organisers claim they are forced to take safety into their own hands because of Albion's total lack of... An ex-Albion engineer, Hamish Bulaji, has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal, this time involving a backroom crowd control robot program. Citizens continue to leak evidence of abuse of power by Albion and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio and video recordings seem to implicate the dark web entity known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today of a bombshell money laundering operation based out of the British Virgin Islands. Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so-called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack, leaving many to ask, has DedSec disappeared once again?